Let's start with pre-feed and auto pre-feed. What these functions essentially do is feed the material prior to cutting the job. This allows the push rollers to establish what is called micro tracks on each side of the vinyl. Once these tracks are established, the push rollers will accurately follow these tracks during the cutting operation. The difference between how these two functions operate is that pre-feed feeds out the material to establish the tracks immediately, whereas auto pre-feed sets the cutter in a mode that prior to cutting a job will automatically pre-feed the material to a predetermined length. To use pre-feed, press the menu key. This will get us into the main menu where we can select the 4 key for media. Then press the 1 key for pre-feed. Next we set the distance we want the media to be fed by pressing the up or down arrow keys. And then we simply press enter. The cutter will start feeding out the media to the specified length. As it does this, the push rollers will make an impression on the vinyl as a track that it can follow when the job is sent. To enable the auto pre-feed, press the menu key. In the main menu, press the 4 key for media. Next, press the 2 key for auto pre-feed. When in the auto pre-feed menu, press the 1 key, and this little pop-up menu appears, so that we can then press the 1 key again to enable the auto pre-feed. And then press the 2 key to establish the pre-feed length. Now we just press the up or down arrow keys to establish the length, and then press the left arrow key. Press enter to accept the changes. Finally, press the menu key to return to the default main screen. Now, each time a job is sent to the cutter, it will automatically pre-feed the material to the specified length prior to cutting that section. Turning on the auto pre-feed is a good idea when you're consistently cutting longer jobs. At the same time though, it can be a time waster if you're cutting smaller jobs that are using a material that doesn't necessarily need to be pre-fed. As a general rule, if you find that you're doing mostly smaller jobs, and maybe an occasional longer job, use the pre-feed function. On the other hand, if you find that you're consistently doing longer jobs, or you have a material that seems to slip a lot, then by all means enable the auto pre-feed function. It may take a little extra time to feed the material, but it will keep the media and the job on track. When working with thicker materials or materials that tend to slip, reducing the speed of the media during the pre-feeding operation may be necessary. For instance, if you find that the tracking is not firmly established to your liking, this is when the pre-feed speed should be reduced. To change the speed, press the menu button. From the main menu, press the 4 key for media. Press the down arrow key to switch to the second page of options. Press the 1 key to select feed speed. Press the 1 key to set the feed speed to a slower pace. This will allow the push roller to make a better impression on the media for tracking. Press enter to have the cutter accept the change. Press the menu key to return to the ready mode. 